Hi, I'm David, and in this video we're going to go through formatting a GPS data input file, uploading it into Google Spreadsheets, and then connecting it to GPS Visualizer for presentation. Right, so let's get started. So the first thing here is to have a look at the actual the GPS input file. So this is the text file here. I'll just open it in Excel so we can have a bit of a better look at it. So what we can see here is we've got quite a few fields. Um, IDs, codes, times, latitude, longitudes, all those sorts of things, some altitudes and things. But what we're focusing on is the um, values, sorry, the fields that relate specifically to representing in uh, GPS Visualizer, which as you can see in this one I've prepared earlier, this has got a couple of important columns uh, that we need to get here. So the first one is a type column, which just indicates whether this particular Sort of latitude longitude coordinate relates to a waypoint or to a, a, a node and a track. Next two columns, longitude and latitude, or latitude and longitude, um, just relating to the um, those coordinates there. The name of this particular track, so in this one file we've got one, two, three, four, five different tracks going on there. Um, I've just given them a boring name of one and two and three and four, five. You could call yours whatever you wanted and then field for colour to represent the actual colour of that track. So the first thing we want to do is to edit the format of our input file here so that it has the same format as this file that I've just gone through here. So what we'll do is we'll just go through here and um, have a look at what columns we've actually got. So looking along here we've got a, um, uh, I'll just bring that up here. We've got um, a couple of FID fields, an ID field, a code, time sec, inlet, neg, inlet, elet, neg, elet, field for A, B, C, alt, avalt, D, E, F, G, and so on and so forth. So the first thing that we really want to see is that we've got here, we've got our um, west decimal degrees and our south decimal degrees. These are the key fields that we're going to be using for our latitude and longitude. So it's going to depend on the input of, of the, the, um, the actual format of your GPS recorder device. But I know that those are the fields that I'm wanting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete the rest of these fields that I don't want. All of these ones here. And there we go. So we've got our... Um, our longitude and our latitude there. So I'm just going to put these side by side so I can see what's going on. Let's update the name of these column headings here. Insert a new column in front for type. And put a T for track node. So I'll just drag this down and populate this list here. So hopefully we'll have, um, oops, there we go, our T's all over the place. Beautiful. Next thing we want is our name and our color fields. These aren't completely necessary, um, but it just does help make it a bit easier to, when we know what we're looking at. So I'm just going to have a quick look through here to see um, what's going on. So actually what I've done is because I've deleted the other field that included the the ID and the reference for the um, each track. We're not actually sure how many tracks there are anymore, but this is just a demonstration, so we should be able to see what's going on at least. So I'll save this. Uh, let me just save that as um, new CSV. So I'll pop that onto the um, desktop here as a CSV type. Let's get rid of this. So here's the file here. Um, just here. So what we'll do is we'll now go through the steps of uploading that into Google Spreadsheets. To upload the CSV file into Google Spreadsheets, we'll first um, go there. So I've got um, a Google Docs account right here in my shortcuts. So we can see here I've already got one file um, from before. 
but what we'll do is we'll upload a new one by clicking on the upload button which allows us to select a file so I'll just go to my desktop um, and upload this file uh, we'll keep with the same file name this shouldn't take too long because it's a relatively small file there's not a large amount of information in there alright so right here we can see is we've got all our fields are showing up just the way as we had formatted it before in our file so if I scroll down here a bit we just see some of the new latitude and longitudes coming up so that's perfect that's just what we're wanting so we next need to actually publish this spreadsheet so make it accessible by, from external applications or to the public as, at large so we can do that from using the share button and then publish as a web page link so clicking on that brings up a little notification and we can click publish now and it's given us this link here so if I click on that it's going to open up a, um, a page here that we can see all the contents of the, the file can't edit it but we can view it which is perfect for what, we want, for what we're wanting so I'm just going to put this aside for a second come back here and at this stage we'll just take a short break and go to part two